Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today, we're doing the season finale of season one of Legends of Tomorrow called Legendary. So we start off with Rip drops the team off in May 2016. Then Sarah learns that Laurel is dead and talking to her dad and it's like a hella emotional scene. And guess what I found my season finale notes but I couldn't find season um, 1 through 15. So anyway, so um, then we have Mick and Ray do a heist because Ray wants to talk to him and try to convince him, like, this kind of sucks. Like, I like doing what we we're doing. I wish we could just keep doing that. And tries to get um, Mick to come along with him. And then Stein talks to Clarissa and you know how, like, he's back. He's happy to be back, but not really. Like, he's happy to be home, but he's not really happy, happy. It's like a short-term happy or something along those lines. And then uh, Sarah gets really pissed off, like really mad. And then we also have Rip in despair. And I feel like this is when he was baking a, he was like in a cake or baking cakes on the weight rider or something and getting kind of snaps him out of it. I can't remember if that's this one or not. <laughs> so anyway, um... He's in despair, but he snaps out of it, and he comes back, and then they go back. Then we have Kendra is trying to escape um, Savage in 1944, and basically um, they were unable to stop him, but managed to rescue Carter because um, what she did was she put a message in a helmet, and the helmet was displaced, uh, was placed in Rip's... Um, library or whatever and they noticed like, a temporal change of the um helmet so that's how they got the message it was able to do all that so um then Vandal gets to her then Sarah punches Rip and then Rip got the message because that's how they found it because Rip because Sarah punched him and that's when they noticed the helmet stuff and then we find out that the Minorites were uh, Thanissarian tech, and basically that um, they were, I guess, they sent the three meters. It didn't just crash. They were sent there specifically. And he plans to use Carter's and Kendra's blood to activate the Minorites' alien tech and to erase time back to 1700, where he can rule. Then, let's see, uh, then we found out that Rip talks to Sarah and says if, like, if she stayed, the Lances would be dead, like, all of them would be gone. And then we find out that Firestorm got a new ability where they can uh, mutate stuff to water or, a, like, a different object or something. And so they got away, except for Kendra, like I said, then Firestorm tries it again, but it doesn't work. Then Stein has an idea when they separate, and they want to go to 1958, 1975, and 2021. So basically, they find out that, um, let's see, that Vandal talks to himself in 1958, and that radiation from the minerai makes him vulnerable. So they want to go to those three dates, because that's when he's going to be around the minerai, and when he'll be vulnerable. So the plan is to go to all the time periods and kill him there. So they have all, I have basically have all the fight scenes, which I, were actually pretty good. And so the legends off all three vandals, and then the meteors start to go critical. Ray and Jack stop two of them, but the third one goes critical in twenty one in twenty twenty one. So Rip does a tractor beam takes it out and leaves them and he's basically going to fly into the sun. He says goodbye to the team then shut it off. Then he sees his family and he hugs them. But then we see that um, that he managed to escape and jumps back in time and then they are all fine and basically he hugs them and then Rip um Jeez. Then Sarah says goodbye to Laurel. Clarissa gets Stein to go with Jax. And basically, because Clarissa understands that, you know, that he wants to keep doing this and wants to keep, you know, 
protecting time, so she basically tells him to go with Jax. So then Mitch goes to tells the snort in twenty thirteen and says goodbye. Calls him a hero, then they leave. Then Carter and Kendra decide they they're not gonna go. And they say goodbye to the team and they fly away. Then another wave rider crashes and a guy warns them, Rex Tyler, that if they go to a Pacific date, that it will be the death of them. And that's in the episode. Uh, this episode, I'll give a... I gotta start rating these before I think about it. I don't know, I'll give this a B plus. So, I thought it was a pretty good episode. I did like how they were um, trying to, you know, come together as a team. They were finally actually able to do it and actually able to coordinate and do stuff like that. So, that was pretty cool. Season as a whole, B minus, almost a C. I, you know, it was definitely, you know, I feel like during this time, you know, they were hitting their growing pains because they basically have so many characters on all these shows. They just want to fly them over to this show. And I think they got that because that's why they switched up all the, some of the characters in the show. So, yeah. But overall, I feel like it was a pretty decent season. I mean, some seasons are way horrible than this. This was decent. I've seen it a few times. Uh, I mean, the fact that I can watch it a few times, you know, that's uh, something. Because usually, if I see, like, a bad movie or a bad show or a bad season, I'm usually out the first episode. And it's like, I'm not doing anything for this. So... It was pretty good. Um, season 2, Season 3 on another level. And I'm excited to dive into those as well. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the season or the episode. Any other suggestions for any TV shows or movies? Also let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.